Kaelin, the time has come to avenge yourself. <sighs> Welcome back to I like, Sonic UMZ. I like this new uh, background here. Yep, added new... title screen. Title screen. Title screen. What do you think's gonna happen in Sonic UMZ? That. <laughs> and the first thing that hurts you is lava. This is where the really fun part kicks in, I think. Because I'm on fire underwater? <laughs> You're on fire and underwater at the same time. What are you doing? I'm getting revenge. Okay. And then I'm dying. No, you should still be able to make it. To that! Hey! You've been training this whole time, haven't you? You weren't dead at all. You were just training for training to be underwater marble zone. Is that right? I don't know what you're talking about now. Oh, nah, you'll be fine. Hey. What is he doing? Stop that! <laughs> He's mocking me! <laughs> oh. Were you trying to time it? A little bit. Which is part's much easier from the underwater physics. Yeah. Now you are approaching the spot of your death. Come on. Well done, sir! Oh! And you own that caterpillar! Ah, I was hoping to get both of them. What the? That one's my favorite caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you you have a favorite caterpillar, really? Yeah, that one. That one's the one that has an affinity for lava. <laughs> Galen beat what UMZ Act One. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> You're so grown up. That. That that caterpillar has a spot in my heart because it's got an affinity for being on fire. But can you beat Act Two? I like how the water in this act doesn't waste time. Like it, it doesn't really feel like playing with you. It's just it's like just, you know the deal by now. Yeah, you get what's happening here. At least there are rings. Yeah, could be worse. I'm tempted to tell you something, but I don't think I will. I was I, I was tempted to tell you about the lava that falls on you. But yet under control. Oh, I missed it. I don't think you get anything for destroying all the caterpillars. God. <laughs> that part's a fair bit harder. So is that! Oh, man! I don't think that one's even doable. I am shocked that you didn't die there. You're very lucky. Careful. <laughs> that, I would say, is a little bit harder <laughs> with the underwater yeah. physics. The underwater physics are pretty difficult there. Oh, cats are killed. I don't know how I'm supposed to roll through those either, though. Oh well. 
Yeah, with the wall. That's that's one thing about it. Like the best way to take out a caterpillar is to roll through it. Fuck. But underwater, it's difficult to get up enough momentum to roll. Back up it is, I reckon. Back up you go. If he enters this contest, this hack into the contest again next year, he ought to put a monument where you died, where you originally died. He ought to. Alright, let's hope that area doesn't kill me. Let's hope. With the spike. Yep. Okay, it's just gonna push <laughs> me forward regardless. Which is good. Well, as long as you can get through through it fast enough. Nicely done. Yeah, you can just step between them. on the edge of my seat, by the way. No, you're not. You're sitting perfectly fine. Don't lie to me. It's it's an expression. Okay. <laughs> that extra block is. Oh no! Go go left! Go left! Go left! No, go left! It's if you if you can get through the wall, there was probably one in there. Probably. I didn't realize that the wall gave way until I had already started to move again. Yeah, you wouldn't have made it either. You wouldn't have made it otherwise. But yeah, there's normally a ring monitor in that wall, or maybe three ring monitors. I don't remember exactly. I don't like this part. <laughs> Man, that was ballsy. I gotta say. Fuck. That was ballsy. <laughs> Rolling down the hill like that, toward the bouncing caterpillar part. Death now. Trying to anyway. This time. That's not a bad idea. Air management. <laughs> wow. You shouldn't have done that. There wasn't really much I could do past that point. You shouldn't have tried to just push through them. Well, maybe you'll be back too next year. Next year. Next year. I'm gonna try. Okay. <laughs> the second logo makes the drown noise. Did you hear that? No. The Sega. <laughs> I'm impressed with the upgrades. Uh, last year, I believe that, e that all there was was Act 1 and 2. But, he said that Act 3 was also in this year. According to the contest description page. If anybody is watching this and doesn't know, this hack was made for us. Yeah. And for Kaylin specifically. Uh, there's even a... What, what, what was it on... Uh, is it TV Tropes or... Yeah, on TV Tropes. On the self-imposed challenge page, there's a reference to this, and a link to the original video, which you really should watch before you watch this one, I don't know what you're doing. But I assume everybody knows this, if they've stuck with us for this long. <laughs> The 
But yeah, maybe you'll get through Act 2 next year. Spend, maybe. spend all of this year training, right? Nope. <laughs> My skills age like fine wine. I develop a few, and then they just start... They just develop themselves over time. So a year from now, without even without ever playing it, the the skills required to beat Act 2 will coalesce in your brain. Yep. And you will gain the ability to do it. Nah, no, next year I'm gonna show up drunk. Oh god. These hacks aren't gonna know what hit them. The joke here is that when Kalen's drunk, he gets inexplicably better at video games. I, I actually do get better at video games. Um, that is that has kind of been proven. To an extent. It's like driving, you know? You get better at driving when you're drunk. No, no you don't. No, no, no you don't. You, you think you get better at driving. There's your favorite. My favorite. <laughs> Catakillas. Yeah, after experiencing those like rolly ball things, I don't think Catakillas are that bad. <laughs> really? The rolly ball things from uh, Spring Yard Zone? Yeah, those things. Well, especially when they come in like groups of 12. Well, they are referring to. Uh... Hard, Hard mode. mode edition, or whatever it was called. <laughs> Where they come in groups of twelve. <laughs> I don't think that's quite accurate. It was close! It was freaking close. No! Yeah, I had that same problem. I was just trying to power through this part. This part's really difficult. Yeah, it is. <laughs> just dodge the catakillers if you can, or kill the last one without, like, separating them and then jump, lose your ring, because you're probably going to, and then slide down the hill, because... See what I mean? Yeah. It's really hard to get through that easily. And I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. It's kind of embarrassing, because when I played, I, when I played the original version of this last year, I didn't die once. So if I, if I, if I can't do this, then my Sonic skills have degraded. I'm actually, I'm actually a vampire. I've been taking some from you. Oh, that explains a lot. Yeah. I'm coming for your Sonic Generation times next. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you'll, your, you'll have to compete with, uh, with, with your someone own, else. With your own skills. <laughs> I feel like this is a plot of Space Jam. Yeah, one thing, take out those spikes if you can't, like, get through them quickly. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm better at holding right than you, apparently. Apparently. This is chronologically the last hack we're playing in the contest, by the way. Yep. We thought that this was this would be an appropriate reward for ourselves. <laughs> Maybe a reward for you. Well, it's it's the hack that we inspired, you know. I mean, Mega I G. I thought Wolf, you could jump across there. Mega G Wolf might get like egg on toast edition, and Thomas was everywhere. But we get underwater marble zone, and you know, I think that's pretty freaking sweet. I just think it's funny that someone made a hack for us. Even if it is a gigantic douchebag hack. It's perfect. Hey, it's my friend. <laughs> he shows up in Act 2 as well. He switched. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? I told him I like lava. <laughs> Under lava marble zone! I don't think this is gonna work, dude! Coming to the Sonic Hacking Contest 2015! Wait. Oh god. This part's gonna be- this- this may be a problem. <laughs> he probably foresaw that. <laughs> Act 3 is gonna be absolute hell. 
I'm just thinking. I can see that. Because Act 3 is normally absolute hell. Act 1 and 2 in Marble Zone, I don't mind all that much. Act 3, though. <laughs> Look at all these! <laughs> just go crawl into the wall there. What's in this wall? Oh god, I found a wall. Oh boy, oh boy! Oh boy! He's dying for Act 2 now. Oh boy. Act 3, rather. That's what I meant. I'm so happy. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> What's going on? What's go- What's going on? I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel like this is meant for Kaylin. <laughs> we have the same laugh. <laughs> Invisible Sun, you bitch. <laughs> you rat bitch. <laughs> the amount of awful you are is through the roof. Hey, there's a lower path. Let's let's try taking that. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I don't know if I should try to leap here or if I should stay with the platform. Stay with the platform. <laughs> you think so? Yep. There's a caterpillar on it. What? No, there's not. <laughs> Invisible sun, you rat bitch. <laughs> I feel like you should have jumped there. <laughs> no, there's there's always two of them. I mean, there's always two of them. Always. At do least you, in the original do game. You know what to do. <laughs> in the original game, there's two of them. I don't know if you. I don't know if Invisible Sun knows what Mercy is, but I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Considering he just fucking crushed you in cold blood. <laughs> Oh, God. It's okay. I don't need any rings. Rings are dumb. <laughs> Checkpoint. Good. That will come in handy. <laughs> That's cute. Look how cute that is. Isn't it cute? Isn't that cute? Oh, God. <laughs> the amount of slowdown is making this more difficult than it otherwise would be. Why is it slowing down so much? Because there's so many caterpillars on screen, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> Where is your god now? <laughs> This is going in the lava with the water falling on the water. <laughs> Good. I was hoping one of those would show up through. And. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to you. <laughs> My eyes are open. <laughs> Though I made round before I get out of this pit. Oh my god, I think you have to go left. Screw that noise! Oh, oh, yeah. It's 
Screw you, bat, who can fly perfectly underwater. <laughs> yeah, that's how bats work. They, they can also swim, didn't you know? <laughs> perfectly swim. Uh-huh. Man, he expected them to wait. They made it possible to pass even if you could wait. Perhaps he does know what mercy is. I like the caterpillars beneath that spike right there, though. <laughs> that, uh, matcher. Yeah. If you fall down here, you're gonna have a problem. Yep. So the plan is, you beat Act 2 in 2015. And then in 2016, I beat Act 3. Probably 2017. Probably 2017. <laughs> is my Caterpillar friend here? Oh, it doesn't look like it. He may, may not be in Act 3. How is this going to work? <laughs> Oh, does he... Is he gonna spit out air bubbles? Yeah. If you hit him, you get an air bubble. That's good. I'm definitely feeling the, uh... I'm definitely feeling... the underwaterness of this boss, but I feel like it needs caterpillars. Yeah. He should drop caterpillars. I'm just gonna save this one. That's what I was concerned about. <laughs> Drowning. Game over. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's all, folks. <laughs> that's the end of the game. <laughs> what a glorious reward. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so, Caitlin, what's your critique of Underwater Marble Zone? Invisible Sun, you're a bitch. You're a rat bitch. <laughs> <laughs>